Section 5.3 also uses the inverse norm function in order to find actual data. And here's an example of finding some actual data. We are given this example if the highest 5% of ACT scores are going to be resulting in their recipient getting a scholarship, what cutoff score would be used that year if the mean score is 23.5 and a standard deviation of 2.7? So we have a mean of 23.5 and a standard deviation of 2.7. The percentage will correlate to that area under the curve. So we're looking at the highest 5%. So right here, the area under the curve is 5% or 0 0.05. We're going to be using that inverse norm function, first of all putting in the area to the left, then the mean and the standard deviation. Now if we have 5% to the right of the cutoff, that means that 95% or 0.95 is the area to the left. In my calculator, I'm going to be hitting second distribution and then I'm going to go down to the inverse norm function. I'm going to put the area to the left, 0.95. Then I will be putting in the mean, which is given as 23.5 and separate with a comma for the standard deviation of 2.7 and the parentheses and enter. The cutoff score for that year would be a 27.94.